أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم يا ويلكم تو ذيس برزنتيشن أو كلاس سيشن أو فلسفي اللوجيك جيس بي 2205 فروم ذي جيس بي يونيت جان ستوديس يونيت بايرا يونيفرستي كانو دورين ذيس سيشن أوف 20 21 uh, 2020 2021 session uh, the presentation will cover logic and philosophy module 2 and i am dr awal halilu to anchor uh, the session you are welcome once again this presentation will cover methods of philosophy uh, when you say method of philosophy, it can be mood, it can be style and others. So, uh, although philosophy has to do with wisdom, but our concentration and concern in this particular uh, lesson or class will be discussion on methods of philosophy. You can ask questions where necessary, you can make comments where necessary, and uh, make contribution as far as the course is concerned. Like we said generally, philosophy is an activity with different methods, approaches, and modes or style, whichever way you said it. It has to do with ways we use in philosophizing. So in this presentation or class or lesson, our concern will be in understanding four methods of doing philosophy. And these methods can be speculative philosophy, prescriptive method of doing philosophy, analytic philosophy, or historical. Let me start the class with some reflection. When they say speculative philosophy, what comes to your mind? Try to reflect for some seconds. When they say pres prescriptive philosophy, what comes to your mind? Can we have some reflection? Prescriptive, prescriptive, prescriptive. What comes to your mind when you hear prescriptive for the first time? Number three is analytic. We usually say analysis, analyzation, all this ana, 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 ana. Now, then they say a method of doing philosophy, that's analytic. When they say analytic, make some reflection for some seconds. Two, three, four, five, six seconds. What comes to your mind when they say analytic philosophy? Then number four, we have the historical method of doing philosophy. Now, when they say historical, from the word history, what comes to your mind? What will be your judgment in terms of saying this is historical? Does it make any meaning to you? Can you think of something that may come to your mind as far as this method of doing philosophy is concerned or oh, you are just hearing it for the first time please can we make some reflection for five seconds now we are going to make discussion on the first method of philosophy we are going to be discussing and this method of doing philosophy is called speculative speculative philosophy generally is a way of thinking systematically about how everything around us everything in this world everything you are thinking of everything how that does that thing exist this method of philosophy find time to think systematically about how these things exist. It, it tries to understand how all the different things that have been discovered together to form some sort of meaningful totality. 
that means to say speculative philosophy is a search for order and wholesomeness as applied not to particular items or experience it is an attempt to find coherence in the whole realm of thoughts and experience what are we trying to say here is that for you to understand speculative philosophy is for you to understood that it's just a systematic and comprehensive account of human existence and the universe that encompasses both the natural sciences of, orga of the organic and also the inorganic wo world as well as human sciences of cognition social life and domains of arts religion and philosophy itself one may think about so many things but you should understand that in the history of ideas and culture speculative philosophy denotes a broad range of philosophical approaches and traditions that normally cluster around metaphysics and systematic treatment of existence, consciousness, and free will. What are we saying here? Is for us to first come back to reflect more about this speculative philosophy or method of doing philosophy. Number one is for us to go back to know that this term speculative is derived from Latin words called specto, speculatio, speculato, meaning what? Or you call it speculum, meaning what in Latin? It means miru. It means a notion of reflection. It means reflection of consciousness. It means for you to figure out prominently in certain issues. Figure out things, reflect. That's to see things from the miru. To see yourself as a reflection of something. For example, some uh, some people may wonder, why are they calling human beings lions? Are they really lions? But their character reflects, maybe you can say someone who is brave, a warrior, and is related to lions. And therefore, they are called lions. So they are a reflection of lion. Are we together? So this particular speculative philosophy, you can say in German idealism, literally through the Latin root, it means for you to look at something for you to look at something, for you to behold, for you to observe, for you to explore, for you to investigate or contemplate. But what are we trying to say here? For you to explore, it requires a rigorous analysis beyond reasonable doubt. For you to observe, it requires some procedures for you to look at something or for you to be whole on something. There is need for you to make a serious engagement. A serial follows some series of procedure. So follow some scientific procedure. That means speculative philosophy is really an engagement. An engagement for you to have vision for you to have a clear scene of how things are being done 
incoherent and also a wholesomeness arena for you to put them in what they they are calling or they call thoughts and experiences so speculative philosophy generally is really an idealism or methodology that attempts like we said at the beginning of the class uh, attempt to search for coherence in the whole cycle of thought and experience this means it is an effort to see how things related or are related to form in a meaningful whole so speculative philosophy is aimed at bringing things together in thought so as to find their broadest relationship in the cosmic setting at least in a more uh, for us to understand this there are some philosophers traditionally they are related to this methodology like the Hegel the scaling and Bradley such thinkers are concerned with offering a systematic approach to reality they seek to unify all the different kinds of knowledge knowledge we have into one system because the emphasis of speculative philosophers they emphasize unity and completeness speculative philosophers tend to use like we said at the beginning terms that do not fit with simple experience of the world like absolute like spirit like being so all these are words that are term absolute speculative for example and being so here they refer to commonly refer to universal concept they are commonly referred to as universal concept this all these are example of uh, typical analytic philosophers to cast doubt on such notion that means to say all things if not proof beyond reasonable doubt are just mere speculation or less the uh, undergo rigorous philosophical reflections 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 before they are considered real so philosophy or speculative philosophy uh, here seek to infer from some personal thinking experience and observable futures of some things in order to source for further meaning and clear your mind of doubt but however we should remember such inferences or speculation must follow sound reasoning that means to say speculative philosophy has to undergo a lot of sound reasoning because before it is considered as a whole realm of thought and experience before you consider it being undergo uh, what they call coherence uh -huh. number two type of uh, methodology method of doing philosophy is called prescriptive philosophy remember we have discussed about uh, speculative now we are moving to prescriptive prescriptive method of doing philosophy is a method that seeks to establish standard for assessing values, for judging conduct and appraising arts. This method of doing philosophy examine what we mean by good or bad, right or wrong, beautiful and ugly. They tend to ask in the process whether all these are qualities in themselves or they are projection of us are engaged in philosophizing through assessing standard bringing out standard that will help us to understand 
not only understand but to establish standard for assessing uh, what really is this left or right why is it somewhere in the right why is it somewhere on the left so here yeah, philosophers are engaged in doing that for example we are human beings we think differently between ourselves once you see this is beautiful and the other one will say kai the ugliest thing in the world why is it so are all these projection of our mind or they are just futures in themselves what is good is good what is bad is bad what is ugly is ugly and what is uh, uh, right is right and what is wrong is right wrong so all these are subject of discussion in the philosophical world but the process we follow in dealing with these issues to understand are they really quality in themselves or their projection of the minds or of our mind is called prescriptive philosophy so prescriptive philosophy is just it is just a typical of grand me, me, metaphysical system of continental philosophy it rejects sensory evidence and instead it seeks to use pure reason to say how the world how the world our world the world we live must logically be so in general descriptive philosophy look to describe exactly what we sense it makes sense of our data sensory and creates a system that account for what seems to be the case it is deeply involved in science and sensory uh, data so it's for all of us to reflect and look at how we are living what we are doing and how we are doing things and ask ourselves that prescriptive philosophers always seek to discover and recommend principles for describing what actions not only action what qualities are worthwhile and why they should be so so for one to stand up and say okay for me what you are doing is bad what one one the other person is doing is bad you understand philosophers or prescriptive philosophers do not believe in that you must infer to understand why is it good or bad why is it right or wrong why is it beautiful or ugly that means there must be established standards for assessing these values and that can only be done through prescriptive philosophy so the process of assessing this uh, establishing this standard for assessing this kind of values for judging even our conduct or even appraising arts is called prescriptive uh, philosophy now can i ask a question can we reflect to think about what is this philosophy and a, a prescriptive philosophy now these qualities we are saying the very number three method of philosophy of doing philosophy is called the analytic philosophy now the analytic philosophy focuses on words and their meaning so analytic philosophers here examine such notions as cause causes mind academic freedom quality of opinion, context of different words they shows how inconsistency may arise when meanings appropriate in certain contexts are imported into others the analytic philosophers tend to be skeptical caution and disinclined to build system of thoughts so analytic philosophy 
it's just a movement that begin with French, Roussel, and Queen, and places heavy emphasis on logic, language, and align itself with empirical sciences. Analytic philosophers here, such as Russell, tend to reject speculative philosophy, sometimes called metaphysics, because they do not find any justification for some of its concepts, or for some of the concepts it uses, like essence, like substance, like being, like subject, like self. Instead, analytic philosopher inquires into the meaning of the concept of so what are we trying to say here is for us to understand that analytic philosophers focus on words and their meaning analytic philosophers focus on examining notions analytic philosophers are, are, are not only examine such notions but they do it in order to assess the different contexts he shows how inconsistence may arise in the meaning. Appropriate in certain contexts are imported into uh, others. So analytics philosophers tend to be skeptical, cautious, and decline to build system of thought. So what are we trying to say here? While they concentrate on issues related to or they focus on issues related to what and their meaning that means to say what you hear without really inquiring deeper in terms of context if for example you are taking dictionary meaning then in some context the meaning may be, uh, may be different in terms of context but in content it may be the same in context it will be would have some differences for example uh, when in language you take Hausa for example what you will speak Hausa what they are what you will say in Sokoto state when you come to Kano state is the same Hausa but in terms of context they mean different things at some point it's an abuse while in Kano is okay in Sokoto is an uh, is not okay while in Sokoto is okay in Kano is not okay it's even an abuse go to the Yorubas Yoruba in one state are speaking some words that may be different maybe in the, the language in in the rural communities is different is differentiated at some point with those in the urban centers so also Ibu so also other tribes around the world so analytic philosophers here examine such notions what are the cause hmm? issues what differentiate between why is it so because you need to understand it from contextual meaning not con content uh, meaning so analytic philosophers here are really engaged for example you ask the mind the concept of the mind where is the mind located why is it everyone is calling the mind the mind the mind but if you post one day and ask what is this mind where is it located what is its function why is it the mind as an abstract when you ask even the medical doctors they will be thinking why is it located why is it why is it why is it but everyone is saying the mind, the mind, the mind. So they need to understand, focus, and have more definition in terms of contextual meaning, not in terms of the context. That means analytic method of doing philosophy is the real method of doing philosophy because philosophers here are engaged in constant, constant analysis of these uh, uh, notions of different notions in terms of their actual meaning from the context as far as the world is concerned why why you ask human beings 
Why is human being created? Everyone will say his own side. Why are we created in this world? These are questions that need rigorous analysis as far as the analytic philosophers are concerned. And so many other notions that require more analytic uh, activity. So it's for us to understand that analytic philosophers are engaged in this analysis to expose the inconsistencies that exist in different notions as far as an individual uh, is concerned. Can we reflect more as way of summary? Number one is for us to understand that analytic method of doing philosophy focus on the words and their meaning. Number two is for us to understand that analytic philosophers are engaged in examining notions such as costs, causes, mind, academic freedom, quality of opportunity, and many others. Number three is for us to understand that analytic philosophy is just a movement that begins with philosophers like Russell, Quinn, and many others. Which, number four, is for us to understand also the analytic philosophy uh, places heavy emphasis on logic, language, and align itself with empirical sciences. And number five is for us to understand that analytic philosophers reject speculative philosophy because they do not find justification in some of the concept it uses. And number six is for us to also understand that analytic philosophy is focusing a direction towards meaning of philosophy. And that is why we said analytic philosophy is the actual way of doing philosophy because of the rigorous uh, analysis. So it evaluates concepts and notion, like we said, like the causes, equality of opportunity, academic freedom, and many uh, others. And lastly, it's for us to understand that a person may alter a word or state a concept, but another listener may get it confused as he or she may not know the context of usage. It is therefore the duty of analytical, analytical philosophers to closely scrutinize these words or concept and determine what they mean by exposing the inconsistencies that are inherent in them. So you can ask more questions, you can comment, and you can make your observation before we move further. Number four method of doing philosophy is called the historical philosophy. Historical philosophy has to do with tracing the development of ideas over time. It is necessary that whatever we are doing as far as issues of wisdom is concerned that we go back to these ideas and see how they can help to solve problem of our time a thorough philosophical study must be taken into consideration what has already been discussed in the area in the past hmm? but with the intention that not all not but not unlike a mere historical account, the major emphasis here is to examine the logical relationship of ideas over years. So what are philosophers doing here in the historical philosophy? They trace the development of ideas. We have insecurity problem now in Nigeria. How? Why is it that before there is no much insecurity? Is it because now we don't have 
more security architecture no there are dss there are soldiers there are these vigilante community this community that but yet there's this insecurity everywhere then we go back to history ideas of insecurity or security is it the problem of the government is it the problem of the security is this the problem of the community members is this the problem of the family you cannot understand that unless you trace the development of this idea of security and insecurity over time how is it done before how is it being done now and it will direct and shape the future so there must be a thorough philosophical study which will take into consideration already discussed idea in that area in the past it's not uh, uh, like giving an historical account to just read uh, make your presentation on it no it's a rigorous analysis that one will engage in order to find out more about uh, the development of that idea why is it is coming smoothly why is it now there are a problem what can we do to salvage the future is it the problem came in the past or the problem is now all this engagement in finding out this problem will tell us they give us a historical development of the idea the problem is it in the past is it now how can the future look brighter through the rigorous analysis but using historical uh, perspective you can also make some reflection there may be a problem there may be an issue there may be an idea now closer to you around you in your environment in your local government in your state in the country or global problem why do we have problem now why is it so now it calls for a lot of reflection it's called for a lot of thinking for us to understand this uh, method of doing philosophy so philosophers here are engaged in rigorous analysis and tracing of development of ideas over time to see how the ideas work critically can we reflect for some minutes for some seconds on this so so now in conclusion for us to conclude is for us to understand that philosophy has different methods like we said at the beginning and for us in this discussion is for us to understand we have discussed philosophy uh, speculative method of doing philosophy which has to do with way of thinking systematically about everything that exists number two we also discuss we also discuss on prescriptive philosophy which seeks to establish standard for assessing values and judging conduct and also appraising acts and number three we discuss analytic philosophy method of doing philosophy which focus on words and their meaning and we have the historical philosophy the historical philosophy here trace the development of ideas over time which consider it necessary that we think about how we are doing things before based on a particular idea how they are doing it now and it will help us to reflect to the future thank you for listening i am dr awal halilu on behalf of the gsp unit uh Bayer university kano during this 2020 2021 session uh this module two uh of 2205 thank you for listening